Hi, John here with Wild Hair. So you're probably wondering, is a Wi-Fi enabled fan that I can turn on with my phone from virtually anywhere in the world really necessary? Well, of course it is because it's just straight awesome. But we wanted to show you the versatility of my nerd by solving a practical problem. I, like many people, like to sleep with background noise on. And I've tried all sorts of noise makers and white noise makers, but I found that the simple box fan really works the best for me. But there's nothing more frustrating than being all comfy and cozy underneath my covers, only to realize I didn't turn the fan on. So to solve this, I want my fan to come on when I turn my bedroom light off. So with my nerd and a photo sensor, we've accomplished this. Let's show you how. First, let's take a look at the exterior. We kept our manual speed control. We have a photo transistor, and then we have a push button switch for manual control. And we also have a 5 dB antenna on the exterior of the case. The reason that we did this is AC motors tend to kick off a lot of electrical noise, and we wanted to make sure that we keep good Wi-Fi signal strength throughout the house, so we added the antenna. So let's take a look at what we did on the interior. Now that we have it opened up, you'll notice that my nerd is installed on standoffs on the interior of the case. We have our input wire running up to our inputs and our sensors. We have our power wire running in from the wall ward into our micro USB connector. And then we have our MyNerd spliced into the fan um, via this control line here. One thing that's really important to point out is this is 120 volts AC. So if you're not 100% comfortable with this, please do not try it at home. Taking a closer look at the Nerd, you can see the inputs are coming in right here. Input 1 is the phototransistor, and that's going to be the green and the brown wire. And then input 2 is going to be our push button switch, which is the white and the black wire. We added the push button switch, or input 2, so we can turn our fan on and off manually without having to turn our bedroom light on or off to get it to work. We then wired the relays in parallel so that either input can control them. Next, let's show you how the app is set up. With my phone open and connected, let's go ahead and configure my Nerd. First, I'm going to hit the Edit I.O. button. Now, this would be for the photo sensor, so I want to um, enable my input. I'm going to select Momentary. Then, on Output 2 at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to click that. This will be for my Push button, so I actually want to enable the On Screen button. I want it to be latched, and I'm also going to enable my input. I want that to be latched as well. Now if I go back to my main screen, I should have manual control. And let's go ahead and test the automatic feature. Okay, so now that it's buttoned up, let's go ahead and give it a shot. I have my speed control set to one, and I want to test out my uh, light feature, but obviously I'm not going to turn the lights on and off, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my hand over the sensor, and it would signify my lights being turned off, and then I'll take my hand away, which should signify my lights being turned back on. Let's see if it acts the way we want it to. So the light's off. Perfect, it's on. Light's back on, and it turns off. Now, of course, if my lights are on and I want my fan to be on, I can still accomplish that by using the manual push button switch we installed right here. Awesome, that works exactly as expected. And now if I run out of the house and I forgot to turn it off, I use my phone and shut the entire thing off. So it acts exactly the way we want it to. So keep checking in as we take the simple things around your house and make them awesome with my nerd.